Mm, okay, folks. Right. Now I have had to change my lens over a little bit, so I'm just going to mess around with it a little touch. Right, I had to change the lens over to get this to fit in. This is a 16 by 12, 12 by 16 inches. Extra fine cotton canvas. Don't know why I went so high there. And extra fine. This is extra fine cotton canvas. And then put a little bit of a drawing on it. And all this first part is going to be is a bit of a wash on top here. And uh, just to get some the sense of tone and, and the grey day that, that this is going to be. So, a largest brush. And a largest brush. And let me see now. <laughs> so. Uh, just messing around here folks give me a little second till I get myself set properly all right now all right so now I want to establish a bit of a gray tone on this and that will allow me to come back whenever it's dry and start sculpting or painting, sorry, the the relevant areas. So let me get a nice bluey sky going here. Not a blue sky, sorry, a nice gray sky here. Okay. I'm just keeping in mind now that it's all just now is this, is this workable? I'm not sure. I don't think that's workable. I think I'm going to put out a little bit more. Let me put this down. Just a little bit more. Now, excuse the, excuse, excuse the rustling here. Try, try to keep that away from you as best as possible. Okay, a little bit of uh, liquid whenever I use white nuts just to help it tack up quicker. That's all that that is there for. I also recognize sometimes that I can move a bit fast. So I'm going to try and slow down a little bit, just a, a bit to help you see what I'm doing. Oh, okay. Just a little bit, folks. Not, not, not too much at all. Now, it's going to be hard for you to see. This is quite a bright sky. And that's ultramarine blue with cadmium red. A little bit of uh, white in it, titanium white. Some liquid and some spirits. Now, you see, it's just a wash going on over this now and thin it out a bit more make it nice and thin actually okay and before that uh, tacks up I will uh, come along and just smooth it out a little bit and a little bit more blue just a I want to get the, the sense of um, uh, a little, oh, a bit too much red, a bit too much red. Okay, now let me see here. Now a bit grayer than that, I think. There we go. Ba 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 ba. That will be distant mountains. Okay. A nice a distant green. A nice browny green here. May as well use what's down here. So we get some raw umber out and some yellow. 
That makes a nice good um, uh, distant green sort of can. No, that's a bit too, but too bright. So lots of um, uh, lots of spirits here, and as you see, I'm using some of the sky here, and I think that that is not. It's not green enough. This is the problem, folks. It's not green enough. It isn't green enough. So let's green it up a bit. That's okay. Again, remembering that this is nothing more than a wash. Just putting it over here. Establishing my, my shapes and, and establishing some slight tones here. Okay, but before this completely tacks up, I'm gonna soften it a little touch with a little fan brush, just up here. Look at that. Nice and gentle, folks, nice and gentle. Okay. I don't want to do it too much. You want to, I want it nice and soft at this stage. Or I can come along later and um, uh, place in all the relevant things that I wish to place in. That's what I'm gonna say for now. Right, so I want a blue, I wanna change the brush over. And just rambling on, folks, is all. Right, so I'm going to go for a bit of, maybe a, not, not pure blue, but, um, but a good blue, a very obvious blue, rather than a grey blue for the water here. And a little bit darker. And again, keeping it nice and thin, just along here. And maybe a bit thinner than that. Okay. Some darker areas here, folks. Darker, greener areas just to, to establish edges here and there and reflections here and there. A little bit darker over here, a little bit warm too. I'm putting a little bit of that uh, oxide red in it. Okay. That, um, here comes the reflection of the tree. Light. That's the sun shining through my blinds. That is not. That's not me. I promise. That's the sun shining. Let me just keep that nice and grey for the time being. And now, along here. Nah, I'm just going to wipe out this uh, the parts of the tree here. Now, let me see. I don't think that this is running in the proper... I think this light is throwing me off. Well, 
Made it worse. Made it worse again. It's a sunny day where I am. That's a bit better. There we go. Now, I want this to be in this direction here. All right, that's a bit better. Okay. All right. Keeping it, keeping it real, keeping it real. Lovely jubbly, here we go. This is grasses in here. All are in here, so I'm going to uh, depict for that. Some grass is in around here. Yes. All righty. Now, before it all tacks up, I'm going to, going to soften it a bit. So, especially this water here, just. Just soften that out a touch. And because I'm in water here, I'm just going to go in the, the same direction. Now, I'm just continuing to, to mess around here, just with things that are, that are going to be in the water. Might as well put them in now. And then, when the time comes, I'll come along and fill them in a bit better. Right, now, I just want to remove a little bit of paint here from this center part of the tree. colors in this tree so blues and purples and pinks and all grays of course but um what nice colors so i'll establish it with a um a purpley browny gray here Okay, now that's a bit too saturated. Let's just knock it back a bit. Use a bit of green to knock back the valet. It does a great job of graying it out. But remember that this is nothing more than a... Uh, than a... Um, uh, underpaint. That's all we're working with here at the minute. As I say, keeping it nice and grey in certain areas and nice and dark in other areas. Alright. I don't know when you'll see this painting, but for me, we're coming up to Christmas. And I hope you are all having a, a good time. Looking forward to it. I don't know myself if I'm looking forward to it anymore. You know, kind of lost its appeal to me some de to some degree. But I think it's just probably just getting older. Now all I'm doing here is I'm putting in a little knobbly bits of this tree. 
and so I'll just do the odd branch here and there and then the odd knobbly bit. All right. <clears throat> well, we certainly have established something there. It definitely gives us a sense of a landscape happening. And I also I might as well put them in. I think I maybe put a couple of trees in the distance in the background this this time. Yeah, I think I will. Okay, so a grayer, much bluer, grayer tree going on here. Let me see, is that? Uh, that's fine, yeah, okay. And just, you see me shaking that brush? Just to give it a sense of, of um, uh, of the way a tree grows, all in a broken sense. They very rarely grow straight up. Depends on the particular type of tree, of course. But they rarely go straight up. Let me see, I'm not sure if I'll put one here or not. If it, how it messes around with the, the composition of everything. But I'll put this in for the, the time being. Okay, gives me a sense of where I want things to be. Now I'm not happy with the coloration of this here. I think it's too brown. I want it more gray. So I does. I wish it to be more gray. This green is too, too green. Let me just see where things are. Let me see now. I want a, I want a thin consistency here. Because we're moving towards the front now, and they're going to be a little bit more apparent. And I'm not going to mess around. I'm not, of course, I will be soft now and all of that. But a little bit darker. And. And a little bit, a little bit blur, and then I'll, I'll uh, come along and put the highlights on. Yeah, no, that's not so bad now. And I want good coverage in here. I don't really want them. Um, uh, I want plenty of coverage in here. Just a bit of light shining through this area for the time being. I can always come along and put in more light if I wish to do such a thing. <coughs> I'm coming out to the edge here, so there's going to be less of them, which also means there's going to be a little bit more light shining through. So, or a little bit, did I say a little bit more light? Yes, I think I did say a little bit more light. So it's going to be a more of a, a transparent-y type of a, a thing out here. Um, I even think that that's a bit too... It was a bit too dark. Okay, now that's a bit better. Yep. I don't know if I'm busy enough. I don't know if I'm busy enough, folks. A bit more here and a bit more there. I don't want it to be sparse. I really, really don't want it to be sparse. I want it to be a bit darker than that in certain areas. Mm. Uh, I'm not 
sure at the minute folks, I'm just going to be careful here. I'm thinking maybe take a break. I feel myself getting a bit, a bit tired here. And, uh, and I don't want to mess it up by, by just making a silly mistake. <laughs> but remember, all mistakes, all mistakes can be fixed. But why make them in the first place if you can avoid it? All right, okay. <clears throat> okay, now. I think I want to put a little bit more grass in the background here. I want to cover this mountain up a touch. Only a touch though. A little bit of the darker stuff in here. Just bringing that up a bit. On a bit of a brighter area here. Let me just see. And just dabbing this on, on a very dry surface here, folks. It's quite dry. And I'm just dabbing it on to create that broken effect. Remember folks, a lot of highlights will be coming in here. So keep keeping that in mind too, that um, this is the mid tone and the dark tone of this tree. The highlights still have to come in. <coughs> Just using the sky color here to lighten it a little bit. says now here all I'm doing now is giving myself a, a brief idea of where the highlights are going okay Bit bright maybe. I think it is a bit bright. Knock it back. Okay, now hopefully you can see my plan here folks. If this is just a an old gnarly tree and doing its old gnarly things. I think I'll soften them a little bit. I'll soften the edges a little bit. I think they're just sitting there too much. I think they're too, oops. <laughs> I will use a dry brush to do this. I'm just taking the edge off at a touch. Just rounding them out a bit. Now, there are lots of little branches going to be coming in and out of it here. 
So I'm going to allow for it in the in it. Go allow for it. I got a little branch coming out here. I'll have one coming out here, and that will be the knuckle. And you see him here. And they'll get that under there. I want that nice and dark here. So I'll do under this little branch here. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to highlight some of it. See, the highlight come into here. Boop, boop, boop. And that brings the branch into the tree. You see how that works? See him here. Just bring this down and bring that highlight onto the branch and then down here. And that really brings it into the tree. Now. Okay. The, the, the the same way with anything else, the, the trick to this one is to not do it too much. It's so easy to overdo it. And I find myself always overdoing these things. Right, hold, the, hold your horses now. I need this a little bit um, uh, thinner for my plan here. Okay. Now I'm going to need a, a thinner brush to work on the, the smaller branches. farther this is a much thicker branch so I'm shaping it <coughs> right now have I got I thought I had my wrong glasses on there but I don't I don't Right, so a bit of a bright. This is where I need to be steady. Uh, I'm using the mall stick here. And I want really bright highlights on some of these. They're stuck right out here where the sun, where the light, sorry, is going to hit them. And you know what? I, I don't even think that's bright. And you should see, I'm always stopping and breaking and flicking and and it's to create those knuckles that you get in trees. So I want a, I want a good bit more over here. It's those knuckles that you get in branches. They help sell that up. The real illusion of these being proper branches. Lifelike stuff. Now I'm gonna go, oh, <laughs> that's not really quite it, but eh, it's okay, it worked out, look at that, it worked out fine. So what I'm going to do is now I'm just going to place in um, uh, some bright ones. Some of them I'm not too keen on. 
Still a lot of highlighting to go in and around this tree, folks. A lot more work still to be done. Right. bit of grasses in front of these rocks. Just have them hiding a little bit in behind that. Okay. And for the time being, I'm going to walk away from this and I'll come back and look at it. So I will. I'm still a good bit of highlighting to do, I think. Maybe a bit more. See, I'm not happy with this area here. I think it just needs a bit more oomph in it. And I think I'm going to create, make this, I'm going to do it now. I'm going to make that uh, branch just that little bit bigger. Well, folks, it's only been literally about three minutes, but I have to work on something here and I didn't want to do it without showing you it as I say I'm not too happy about this back tree so again I'm going to continue to cover it up just not happy with it okay so here another another branch help a bit okay and, uh, I think I'll just I think I'll leave it for now I, I, I do think that that has covered it up somewhat but we'll see I'll leave it until tomorrow or even dirty for now back and forward a little bit. Okay, right, so yes, right then. Let us put in some highlights and then maybe that will be it. I will take a, a good step back and I'll see. <coughs> There's still a good bit here to do, so there is. Nice and thin. dark patches on here which I'm going to darken even even more I want one of those little knuckles showing out at least one of them I'll probably have two here do, oh do you know what I don't like this here look at that that's a, that's a repeat and, I, and I'm going to bring this one in a little bit further just to, to remove that repetitiveness And just shorten this one off a little bit as well. Now, back to it. And just elongate this one a little bit. Maybe just not so bright. 
then this boil here, just coming up and over. And the same with this here, just a little bit of a bright spot here and there. Just messing around now with the um, um, the overall temperatures of things, or the overall highlights and whatnot. Just trying to be random too. You know how bark grows, it's never. It's, well, I suppose there are some barks that grow in a very repetitive manner. Most, yeah, there are barks that, that grow that way. But for the most part, they're quite random. bit more up the top but not so bright just brighter and I'll use some of that blue this moss just a little bit more now that it's dried up a bit just some yellow a little bit of the blue over here just a, and because of this blue over here has got some white in it it'll make it a little bit more opaque very bright spot just knocking that back a bit and then I'm going to I think maybe maybe just highlight um, the rock a little bit let me see how bright this is Is that too bright? Uh, you see it just knock it back a little touch here. It's a bit better. 
a little bit more on the other ones and then I think I maybe just call this done folks a little bit more blue on it There we go. Now I'm going to take a little step back here, folks, and we'll see where we are with it. Okay, putting, changing my glasses. All right. Well, it has distance. A nice grey grasses and the tree is knobbly and and whatnot. Let me see this here. Yeah, I think that's a bit too apparent here. This it's too dark. I'm going to want to lighten that up a touch. Just a little bit folks, I don't it doesn't need to be a um, uh, Oops, that may be a bit too bright. I just want to lighten this up a touch here. Just thought it was sticking out too much. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, just the odd dabs of of darks here that you, you would get in a big tree. Hi, 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 hi. And I think just for a bit of sense of realism. Um, I'm just going to add a little bit more legs down in here, uh, a bit more of a root system. Faint, barely noticeable. Just to create that, those gaps that you, and little pits and divots that you get in roots at the base of trees. Now a little bit, um, it's just caught my eye here. A little bit more of a highlight around here. Because the, the light is still hitting it here. I think that that'll do it. All right, now I'll take the tape off here. Well, folks, if you could, please like and subscribe if you can, and watch the odd video. Leave it on in the background just to have to play. It helps with the algorithm, and then that helps me put up more videos. So anyway, I'll be I'm working on another wee one, a wee ollie way at the minute. But it could be months before I put it up, or it could be next week. I'm unsure. And there we go, folks. Done and dusted. I'll see you all again in the next one. Bye for now.